Hello, Georges. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead? Yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. I know. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Well. Was it Khan? No. I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Well, Don't remind yeah. me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. He also kicked I'll me out of the room. I'll never trust a doctor again. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Fair enough. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Rosso or Sergeant Mou? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let you work it out. Okay. Let's try. Here first. Aha. Uh -huh. I beg your pardon. Are you Andre Lobino? That's me. You want my autograph? No. no. <laughs> I was told you may be able to help me. Help? My name is George Stobart. I'd like your professional opinion. Well, okay. Shoot. Does the name Montfaucon mean anything to you? Sure. It was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the revolution. A public toilet? Montfaucon was the place of execution for many thousands. A dark temple of death with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung on creaking rope while the crows devoured their flesh. My goodness. That explains the image of the hanged man. I found a reference to Montfaucon in Ireland in a village called Lochmarn. Lochmarn? That's where Pegram was digging. <coughs> That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. Oh, ow. Try and move my chair forward. Do you know Pegram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. When was this? Oh, uh, back in the summer. Uh, July, I think. Okay. I think you ought to know that the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. Before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Yeah, an well, alarm. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. What about Have you ever this? heard of the Hashashin? Why, yes. It was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia, shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars. Yes, Ooh. they gave a new word to our language. Assassini, the Assassins. How did the Assassins get their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. Do you have the address? I haven't finished the story. There was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of the heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. How did the assassins operate? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. Mm -hmm. They'd be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. I was then kidding, I'm just watching The watering master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. 
You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. I would say yes. I'd like your opinion on a medieval manuscript. Vraiment? Do you have it with you? No, it's too fragile. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? The Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal appear on this manuscript? It does. I'd love to see that for myself. Can you tell me anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can, Georgie. Soldiers, diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit the bill. The greatest fighting force in Christendom, the Militia of Christ. Jeez. Fair enough. Where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint Martin, but there's nothing there now. The old gibbet was torn down during the revolution. How okay. did the Templars, Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The king of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The order uh -huh. became known first as the Knights of the Temple and later as the Knights Templar. You're a mine of information, Andre. Glad to be of help, Georgie. I am a Georgie. How come the Templars became so wealthy? There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. Imagine. Is it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Oh, if it does, the truth has never been made public. What do you mean by that? The Templars have attained a mythological status, like the King Arthur of the Britons. There are people even now who say the Templars still exist. They do. Do you think that's likely? No, not for a minute. Hey, Why tripod. don't you loan the tripod to me for safekeeping? Because I'd never see it again. But well, don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. Okay. The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come around and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, she's a woman. This friend who has the manuscript? Ah, uh, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361. I thought we were supposed to be checking first. Ah, I know it well. I'll drop by just as soon as I can. I don't trust him. What do you make of this? It's the biggest gemstone I've ever seen. Where did you get it? From Professor Pegram's messenger boy. Did uh, Pegram find this on his dig? Yeah, the site where this was found was a Templar castle. Do you think it could be part of the Templar treasure? No, oh, I shouldn't think so. You're not one of those crazies who think the Templars still exist, are you? Uh, well, I try to keep an open mind on the matter. Okay. Does the guy in this photograph look familiar to you? No. Fair enough. Not less. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Alamut is the name of the place where the Hashashin were based. Where is it? Somewhere in what used to be called Persia. I'm not too hot on modern geography, I'm afraid. The most recent map I have shows America as an English colony. Well, that's definitely older then. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Attention! Please do not open the window, monsieur. 
Don't you think it's kind of stuffy in here? Dead or stuffy? Then dead. What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. There's a new bag of bar opened up across the street. <laughs> the Laughing Buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers on a charcoal grill. And the fat falls on the open flame. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is astounding. Since they opened, local air pollution has doubled. And it stinks like a funeral pile. That is why I keep the windows closed. Fair enough. Right, let's go and talk to... <coughs> Excuse me. Right, Brujari. Hello, Georges. Oh, by the way, I had a visit from André Lobino. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over mm -hmm. the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the knight's crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped point. to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Okay. I'd better get back to the quest. Back to the museum then. Because I think we need to get that thing. No, no. Attention! Please do uh, not open the window, monsieur. I knew it was going to happen as soon as I turned around. Better stuffy than dead. What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. There's a new bag of bar opened up across the street. The Laughing Buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers. Andy, if you're in track, can you deal with that? And the fat falls on the open flame. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is astounding. Since they opened, local air pollution has doubled. And it stinks like a funeral pile. That is why I keep the windows closed. Okay, I can't deal with it there. Give me a minute, guys. Sorry about that. Right, wait until he walks away. And then walk over here. Then sneak in. It is closing time, Monsieur Lobino. Already, there just aren't enough hours in the day. More than enough for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, Monsieur. Okay, okay. Quit fooling around, you moron! Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight. Oh dear. What the? Who's there? Let's get out of here! I just knocked myself out. Who 
true as that. And when I woke up, I was at the police station. Luckily, I managed to persuade Rosso I was innocent. Poor George. What a mess. I bungled the whole thing. I don't think so. You made a pretty good job of distracting those two crooks. Yeah, but the killer got away with the tripod. No, he didn't. Is not the only one who can dress up in costumes. Ha 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 ha, it was you mean, Nico. It was you who stole the tripod? Oh, hell, Nico. I could have been shot. Those dogs are more likely to shit their own feet. I just wish you'd told me your plans. We're supposed to be in this together. But how come you dressed up like a pantomime cat? Don't suck, Georgie, please. Oh, rats. And don't call me Georgie. No, he's not oh, I happy. really thought you'd be pleased. After all, we've got the tripod. Well, let us that. Let's take another look at the manuscript. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. Right, okay. There's a guy working on a loom. Three There's a woman face. looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. A knight with a crystal ball. The knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. Okay, and Look here. There, two guys on the same horse. Okay, okay. Did I show you this matchbook? I bet I did. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'd better get back to the quest. Where am I going now? Oh no, I've got it. 